Welcome to Teesside Autodrome. This will be the third instalment of our Paddock Walk series here at Teesside this season. In fact, we're not going to have to walk too far because I'm joined by Tom, my co-commentator. And I'll also be joined in a few moments by Cameron Tipping. So I'm going to make my way over. I'll increase the view somewhat by just walking straight in front of Tom like that. Have a quick chat. Cameron, welcome. First time here at Teesside. Not the first time, obviously, in Honda 200. We've seen you all around the country as well. How are you finding this Teesside Autodrome circuit? It's, it's amazing. I, I love the, the flowiness and the speed on the, on the track and the banking corner. So, are you with everybody else then, that South Bank's the best corner, or is there another one that you're really taking a shine to? I like the first chicane. <laughs> the first chicane. Wonderful. Uh, who are you here with this weekend? Who have you brought along to, uh, to take you through the race day? Um, Ross um, and Stanley. Mum and Dad here as well? Yeah. Wonderful. Anybody you want to say thank you to? I know we've got some lovely sponsors on this. It's got, I think Tom mentioned it's got like a Daniel Ricciardo-esque helmet when he breaks the special one out. And you've got this on here as well. Yeah, I, w I want to go through this a little bit, Cameron. Tell me all about this. Is it all Daniel Ricciardo inspired or what, what's the deal behind it all? Um, yeah, it's like Daniel Ricciardo, but I'm just like trying to make my own version of it. Yeah, it's brilliant. I love it. I love the pink on it. And this bit in particular, we're going to get, see if we can get Adam to film this a little bit. There's advice to any racer there, any young racer, lick it and send it. I love it. Is that, is that your, uh, your modus operandi? Is that what you, how you go racing, yeah? Yeah. Beautiful. Great stuff, Cameron. Thanks very much for talking to us. So let's move on. Down the paddock we go. We're going to take a little wander somewhere we haven't really been so far this season. Well, we've done the top section the last couple of rounds, so... David's going to take us down now and we're going to head down into this bottom area of the paddocks and then we're going to head down to the west track. So, David? I've found a driver, Tom. I need to stop him running away, though. Driver, stop! Hello, who are you? Joshua Sullivan. I know that. You're my boy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how have you, how's practice been there today for you? Good today. We're getting below 49, so that's really good today. And so. we're getting setups good for tomorrow. Uh, qualifying as well this afternoon. What's yeah. the, uh, are we confident? Where do you think we can go? Top five, hopefully. Trying to get pole, maybe. So. Opt I, lo I love the optimism. I always say that. Last time when I, I spoke to you last year, you were like, oh, I think I can go top 10. And I think at the time, you, your best finish at the time was 15. So I love your optimism. You've really moved forward in these last couple of rounds towards the front. So you must be quite confident going into qualifying. Yeah, very confident. Good. Um, anybody you want to say thank you to for helping you out go racing? Thank you for all my friends, all my granddad and my dad. Sponsors as well, maybe? Yes, yeah, sponsors as well. Brilliant. Joshua, thank you very much. Microphone back to Tom. It's his turn now. I'd, l I'd like to thank my dad. He stood next to me, interviewing me with a microphone in my face. Well, or rather, when he looks back on this in years to come, he'd like to not thank his dad for that moment. <laughs> but no, but it's the first time we've interviewed Josh. Is that right? Uh, I think DJ did, him, DJ did him last year because I refused to do it myself. That's the first time oh, I've spoken to him. Well, oh, wait, wait there. Let's, 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 let's see whether JJ's available. Is he in? JJ, come on, it's only a short walk. It's a lot shorter than what you have to do to get here at Teesside. Tell us all about your trip. Um, I went to Kingswood in South Wales. And it, what you do there is just stay with your friends and do adventuring and climb trees and stuff. I've been there. I've been there. <laughs> they, do they still have the massive crane swing thing? Yeah, the 3G swing. swing. Right, so brilliant place to be. And then you've come all the way from there, all the way to come up racing this weekend. Yeah, I was quite tired to start with, but after a day went on, I tried and I got a bit better. A bit better today? Yeah, I nearly got my fastest lap here. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. So you're looking good for, for qualifying coming up, so you're getting faster through the day as well. So with qualifying coming up, you, you're hitting peak form. Yep. Yeah. And, and looking ready for, uh, ready for tomorrow. Where do you think you're going to be tomorrow? Uh, hopefully top 10. That's what we're aiming for. Great stuff. Thank you very much, JJ. Yeah, uh, anybody, anybody that Dad wants to say hello to and say thank you to as well? Yeah, just thanks to all our sponsors back home. Uh, Robert of RC Man, uh, Financial Options, Home Run Pizza, Pro Screed and Grandad for the tyres. Oh, well, there we go. Thanks, Grandad, for the tyres as well. And thanks for talking to us as well. Cheers, guys. David? 
Just a quick one, yeah, JJ, uh, one of the drivers, comes over all the way from the Isle of Man for every single round here. We've got another driver as well, Charlie Quine, who's come over from the Isle of Man. So we do like it when the drivers make a, make a bit of an effort to come up such a long way. We've got another one as well, I not, might not get a chance to speak to him today, but he comes up from Dover every round. Only found out last few rounds ago over at, uh, down at Lyd that they're from that, down that end of the country. They bring themselves up all, every single time to come up to Teesside and they make, you know, make their way up as well. Got, we've got, got Bambino trying to get in a cadet here let's <laughs> let's have a wander over because we've got a bit of a family thing going on over here yeah, we've right? got the big one we've got the little one out as well we've got the really little one down here so we'll have a Sorry. have a little chat so uh how, how's your day gone so far it's busy out there with all busy them pros it's my first time at the seaside sprints gonna do plenty of more gonna need plenty more track time to get on the pace of some of the good ones out there but um yeah and i'm racing on the same weekend as my son so it couldn't be any better and the thing for yourself, I imagine, at least you're getting to get at least 60% of the British 24-hour track in, exactly. you know, and then you'd be able to, are you, are you, is there a practice day coming up on the big track Monday? Monday, Monday you're sticking around for that as well? And um, just getting as much track time as you can for the 24. It's going to be a massive event for us. We're going to light that car up, and balloons and everything. <laughs> so uh, watch out for us. For the 24, brilliant. Wonderful. How's your day gone? What's it like being out there at Teesside for your first time as well? Um, it's been good. I've um, improved my time every single time. Um, you, you liking the track though? You find, how are you finding it out there? It's a new track for yourself. Are you finding some corners that you are liking? You practicing some nice overtakes? Yeah, I like the like the back corner, like the like oh, the, the, the big the big bank one. Every, everyone says that. Pick pick a different one. <laughs> um, the first corner. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you very much. I'm not, I'm not letting anybody now from now on say South Bank's their favourite corner. I'm sick of it. It's a brilliant corner, but I'm just not having it anymore. Reese, thank you very much. All the very best for you tomorrow. I know your dad's been out there watching. He's been back and forth to the pit wall. Are you, how old are you? Oh, so we're almost Bambino age, aren't we? Oh, we're, we're shy Bambino. Is it, is it Bambino time? Is it time dad retired and got your Bambino? Says yes, absolutely. Get a price tag on it. <laughs> Brilliant, Tom. I'm Tom. William Howard. William Howard. Tom. William Howard. Pleasure to meet you, sir. How's it been going for you today? Good. Looking forward to qualifying. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else other to say than one syllable words? Uh, it's been good. I've I've liked the track. Brilliant. Well, well, let's do, let's do what David asked you. What's your favourite corner? Uh, Happen Fall. Epping four, good choice. Runs out nice and wide as well. We've, we've got cake in the background as well. Um, but we've got, uh, yeah, Epping four is a nice, nice one to choose, actually. As David spins around in the background. Look, everyone in the limelight and the spotlight on him. Um, Epping four, talk us through Epping four then. So what's the trick for Epping four? Out nice and wide or do you, do you hold it inside, you know, in the middle of the track from the exit? Epping three and talk us through Epping four. I like it going on to head three and then break really early and then you get a better exit and then you could get to get flown around the outside. Slow in, fast out. Yeah. Love it. Thanks very much for talking to us, William. Oh, yeah. Thank, thank you to Mark Green and Pearson's TV. There we go. Got to get them in. Got to get them in. Thanks very much, guys. Should we go inside? What? Into... What, into the, the hallowed territory of into Lucas Racing? Are we, are we... Danny, Danny, Tom. Are we, are we allowed in? To, to the hallowed turf of <gasps> what's going on inside. We're, we're gonna have to whisper. We're, we're gonna, gonna have to be really quiet. Yeah, there are. There's gonna be F1 star screams you know coming up. We're allowed in. We just plow straight. Are in. we just walking in? Is that? Yeah, is that? We're, we're just being brave and we're gonna get kicked out. Yeah. Straight in. We'll plow straight in. I'm. I'm, I'm not fussed. I'm, I'm I'll fussed. talk to anybody. Brilliant. We'll, we'll, we'll start. We'll start with Jess. Then we'll move on to Josh. I'm not bothered. Jess. You, Pretty much, I've noticed you've pretty much gone out right at the front of every practice session so far and just driven yeah. off into the distance. Have we got, is, that, is that the plan all weekend, really? Uh, it's, the, it's the ideal plan <laughs> if, um, if it all goes well. But I think um, I've done a few at the front, I've done a few at the back, um, just trying to work out because you need a cart that's fast, but you also need a cart that'll need a cart that can get through the traffic, especially with, with mixed grids. So we'll see, we'll see how we go. Yeah. What, what are your thoughts on mixed grids? I know it's, 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 a, it's a taste for some people and not for others. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I prefer them. Um, I've been, I've, you know, I've been backing them for a long time. Um, I think it it means that you've got to work a bit harder to win races. It means that you know you can get unpredictable results. I think, um, and I think it works. You know, people have got to work harder for the for the results, which is always a good thing. And um, and driving standards wise, I think it's been okay, which is what we were all 
we were all worried about, but it's but it's been okay, and I think it's been a good move for been a good move for the championship. Yeah, for us definitely as well, Alpha. It sort of give, mixed it sort of up for races, and it's been pretty much every race then's been entertaining start to finish. Really, Tom, I'll hand this back to you. See if we can get deep deeper in. We don't even have to go too far. You can walk with him. Oh no, he's off. Oh, look, he's off. He's actually running. He's physically running away. Literally running away. Gracie, can we go have a moment with you then instead? So, Gracie, obviously you're doing um, two different championships this year, or, or maybe even three. You're you're in and out of various different carts. How are you finding the transition between you know the Rotax and then jumping into the Pro Carts? To be honest, not too bad. Like, well, it went well for your last round, didn't it? Yeah, it did. To be honest, obviously I won last round here. And then I had a decent round at UKC in the Raw Tax, finishing sixth. I think that was about two weekends ago. So I actually don't find the transition that difficult. It just kind of, you get in and then it just kind of clicks back. Right, we're going to take a step back for a second because Jess is trying to get out with the cart. So um, <laughs> there we go. We'll let Jess out and then thank you for the interview as well. So. Um, so the transition's going quite well. Obviously, you know, I, I spoke to your dad before the start of the season and he said, you know, the reason for you, you know, doing the senior pro cart as well as the road tax is to get you some sort of, you know, elbows out experience, if you like, some more, you know, overtaking experience. And with the mixed up grids, do you think that's helping you a lot? Yeah, because obviously it's very mixed, like, what's it called? Ability. So obviously it can be hard. Like, You've got the novices at the, yeah. near the front as well. And then you obviously have to deal with quite a lot of them and when they try and defend, so it kind of just gets you used to different situations within races that I can take into the road tax. It's, it's all dropped perfectly for you then this year, hasn't it? And, yeah. and especially with, you know, taking the win at the last round as well, you must be really happy with how it's going. Yeah, it was. I didn't actually expect to win, but I think we were pretty fast on the practice day and then had a pretty good race day and it turned out to win it. Great stuff. Do you want to say, uh, thank any sponsors and, and things like that? Uh, I'd like to thank Sam Pollock Racing for helping where I am now. I'd like to f f uh, thank Lucas Racing for obviously getting me the car this week these weekends. I'd like to thank my mum and my dad, my sponsors, and RG Cycles and RG Global Power. Great. And all their mothers. Thanks very much for talking to us, Gracie. Now, Josh, are we going to be able to grab a quick word with you or not? Are you actually going to live up to the Mr. Angry that we label you with? <laughs> he's, 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 if you miss that on the mic, he said, I'm not even angry. <laughs> and then walked off. Oh, I'm going to see if I can grab this lad before he puts his lid on. Lift it off again. Help it up again. Danny, first time at Teesside, how are you finding it? Good. Good. Obviously, you're out there in pro cart, you're in juniors, but you're out on their practice day with all the seniors as well. So, this best part of 35 of you out there on a, on a practice day. Have you had that many carts around you before on a race weekend? No, never. Uh, in terms of race weekends, is this, I know it's your first time at Teesside, but is this your first time racing on a, on a track or have you done a few elsewhere? I've done a few, but not many. So you're looking forward to obviously it's random grids with juniors as well, so you're going to be right in the mix at least for the first few laps. Is it just a case of just tagging on and, and learning learning your way around this track? Yeah. Brilliant. Danny, thank you very much. Most of the pro cart lot are down here. I'm going to try and stay on two feet, although that might not work if Tom's trying to, 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 trip, to, trip, to trip me up. Tom, what, what was that all about? Oh, it, could have been, it could have been a disaster. It could have been a disaster. Got, got two-footed, got two footed, so... Tom, I'll, uh, I'll hand that back. We'll make our way up onto the uh, onto the west track. See if we've got about five or six minutes left. So we'll see if we can uh, see if we can we can grab a few. Should we, should we grab Adam. Uh, yeah, you can, you can grab Adam. Adam, have you got thirty seconds? So Adam, obviously we've had uh, we've we've talked to you already. Um, you know, over the years and and things like that. And but you properly branched out on your own this year. <laughs> properly. Moved into your own, doing your own thing. How's it going? It, it and be honest. It, it wasn't. Uh, Although I keep it clean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a few choice words from over winter. Um, it wasn't something I wanted to do. Um, unfortunately, as a customer to the Italians, I wasn't. I wasn't a big enough customer. So, you know, I wasn't getting looked at first, and, and the the supplier wanted. It wasn't happening quick enough. I'm putting my heart and soul into them, and it got to early December and I thought I've got to make a decision now yeah. if I don't I'm gonna have no no team no carts to race next year so I went to Simon Wright I said this is what I want doing this is the time frame you've got can you do it if you can't I'll walk out now if you can he was like yeah we'll get it done skin of our teeth got it done um, luckily the cart hit the deck we were fast 
um, competitive. There's still a few tweaks. I reckon by the end of the year, we'll I'll be in a happy place with it. Um, but it, it's not been an easy year at all, you know. No, I can imagine, and you know, it's a massive, massive step to go from being, you know, like you say, a customer essentially a customer supplier, a, a franchise, if you like, you know, um, to essentially branching out into your own thing. It's a, it's a humongous step and to pull it all off as well as you have, it's got to be commended, really. Uh, you know, I hope you've, that you're proud of yourself because, it, like you say, it hit the deck and, and was quick, but it could so easily have gone the other way. And then you've got even more work to do. Yeah, I mean, we, uh, with, with the Italians, we, we knew the cart was good. Um, we were, I, we had a good cart. You know, to walk away from that, it was a big risk. It was a do or die. I said, if we can match that pace, I'll be over the moon. I thought even if we can be within a tenth or two of that car with something to work on. Um, and like I say, we're, I think we're probably a tenth down on where we should have been, but it, it could have been a lot worse, like you said. Could have been a hell of a lot worse. Yeah. And obviously we've got the British 24 hour coming up as well. You know, you're looking forward to that. Uh, last year was, I can remember because I was in the tent for a fair bit and it was absolute carnage. Is it going to be that kind of level this year? I mean, how many how many did you have last year? Was it seven or eight carts you were running last year? Uh, it was ten last year. Ten? Yeah, ten. Um, I think we've got a couple more this year. Last year, uh, I was still having nightmares. The first 12 hours when it was wet, dry, wet, dry, it was carnage. It was it was almost to the point we are almost giving tickets out to the teams to wait at the door to have them fixed. Um, it's It's... With 100 carts on the grid, you can be the fastest cart on the trap, but you've got to survive. If you don't survive, I mean, no, credit. It's my old phrase, isn't it? Mechanical sympathy. Yeah. It's what I always say. Mechanical sympathy. You've got to have that. I mean, Q, Q Racing, they're an experienced team, but they didn't crash. And it showed at the end of it, you know, they were still very quick, very competitive, but they kept out of trouble, clean stops, um, a great job, and that, that's what awarded them the win. Everyone else crashed, <laughs> and, and that's why they didn't win. Um, this year, really looking forward to the 24. Um, we've got another new cart that's being developed now that we're going to test on what we've been finding out. Hopefully, it's going to be good um, and we'll use it for the 24. But I've got a cart that I've got to repair now. No worries. All right. Thanks very much. Thanks for talking to us, Adam. Appreciate it. So, it's great. I'll hand over to David. No, you're going to do this one. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like we've got Lewis Goff. Lewis Goff, how the devil are you, sir? Good, thanks. Yeah, having a good weekend so far? Uh, it was all right. Um, last session we had problems, uh, like we had in the final, um, just engine problems. But I'm trying to, uh, my dad's trying to find um, the way to stop that. Okay. Uh, and what have the issues been? Um, well, just like I had no power and I was really struggling down the streets and everybody just whizzing past me. Okay. Um, and potentially, then what are, we, what are we doing to fix it? What talk us through? I mean, probably best to ask your dad, I suppose, what, what he's doing with it, but do you know what specifically he's trying to fix? Well, we um, in the middle of the session, we had the problem, so I came in and asked my dad, oh yeah, um, it's happening, what we had in the final. Then um, uh, my dad came running down, then he got um, a new spark plug, then it was running a bit better, but there was still a bit of issues, and we're just trying to find that out, if it's just the engine or something else. Just troubleshooting, work down the list, and find, you know, if it's not that, it might be that, and if it's not that, it might be that, and work down the list. So, all right, well, Dad's doing a good job then. Do you want to give him a big shout out and uh, thank some sponsors? Yeah, um, I'm thanking my dad, my mum, um, my granddad, um, and my granny um, for all supporting and my whole entire family. Great stuff. Thanks for talking to us, Lewis. Have a good day tomorrow as well. Thank you. All right, so I, I will now actually hand over to David. Oh, I've, I've still now, got his hat. Now, that he's, <laughs> now that he's not stealing people's hats and taking pictures. Right, I'm going to see if we can get, get one more, maybe. If we can get one more, then that'll be brilliant. I've found a dog. That's all we need for a track walk, for a paddock walk. I've found a dog. Hello, dog. Hello, Charlie. Hello. Hi. Hello. Look, you, co you come this way. You come this way, out of the way of that car. And we'll, uh, in fact, grab, Charlie, grab a seat. Grab a seat. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll speak to the final person on our paddock walk while I sat down. I've done a, it's too much walking and I'm a little bit too tubby, so uh, for, for too much exercise. Charlie, yeah. Uh, Practice, how's that gone? Um, good. Race day last time, obviously, you had three heat wins and the final. It couldn't have gone much better than that. Are we looking for a repeat performance? Definitely, yeah. Definitely. Your, your dog wants to go and see the camera. <laughs> <laughs> shall, shall we let you go? If you, obviously, you've got qualifying in a little while. Uh, are you sort of hoping for another front row? Yeah, definitely. 
Brilliant. Charlie, thank you very much. I'll let you go. I think that's around about 20 minutes done. So from uh, myself and my good friend here, Tom, we'll uh, head back to the commentary box where you'll be able to hear us anyway. <laughs>